Okay, guys, so just quickly before we move on, I just want to quickly show you guys uh, what happens if you do actually have UVs or want to use UVs. So here I've just given our test uh, material object here um, some UVs, and I'm just going to jump inside of our attribute VUP. Okay, so right now our, um, our object is using the position pass to uh, assign some noise and give it some color. But let's say we wanted to um, apply a texture and actually use the UVs. So what I have done, if we just jump up to our test material, you can see that I have given it some UVs. And for now, I'm just going to view that so that um, we just have a blank ball. Um, so it has UVs. Let's jump up to our material network. And here is um, the principal shader that uh, just default principal shader, which I have assigned to the sphere. And we have our global variables and we have our rest position, but you'll notice that there isn't UV over here. So what we need to do is we need to hit tab, type down bind. So we have bind and bind export. So bind is essentially importing, you know, an attribute or anything into VOP context and then bind export will export it out so I'll elaborate uh, on that just now but for now let's just throw down a bind we are going to change it to a vector because that's what UVs are it's a vector and we're just going to change this to UV and then I'm going to hit tab and type in texture And we're just going to plug the UVs into our texture. And then I'm, where it says texture map, I'm just going to hit the plus sign here. And I'm going to go into our texture packs um, and just click the first one from the basic pack. Uh, these texture packs are available on our website for free download, so go check them out. Um, so let's just grab that and then let's plug it into the base color. So here we have uh, our UVs. Um, and we are essentially just applying this texture to the object via UVs. But then I'll show you uh, that um, what we can do still now with this is that where our UVs are, if we throw down a uh, turbulent noise and let's just change it to original Perlin let's grab our position well let's actually take it from our rest position here plug it into position and then I am going to uh, throw down an add uh, let me just sorry accidentally click that on there just undo that. Um, I'm just going to move this over a little bit and then I'm going to hit tab and type add and I'm going to add our noise to the UVs which just like the position pass is going to distort the UVs. So now we get something like this and that is how you use the same concepts that we just talked about. But now instead of distorting the position pass, uh, we now distort the, the UVs. So that is how you can start manipulating the UVs now and get some more interesting shapes. Um, and again, if, you, if we say change our texture to something different, we will get a different result just off of the UVs and textures that uh, that we plug in here. So you can have a lot of fun. And then say we had a, um, uh, say we had this one. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm just gonna disconnect this. And let's say this one is red. And then I'm just gonna alt click and drag to get another one. And let's say this one is blue. Just gonna stop our rendering. Um, now what we can do is hit tab, throw down a layer mix, and we are going to mix layer A and layer 
B. And now it's looking for an alpha channel, but you'll notice that it's a float. And this is a vector. So what we need is, uh, we can use a float to vector, um, but for now I'm just going to use a luminance, which is essentially just going to take this vector and convert it to grayscale, and we're going to plug the luminance into our alpha channel, um, and we are going to apply our layer mix. And then let's hit render. And you'll see now we have blended these two different materials together using UVs, a UV texture that we have then distorted using noise from our position pass. So, so now we can, uh, we can do a whole bunch of different things. Uh, we can get really interesting materials just by blending them together uh, and get really interesting patterns just by distorting things. And that is how you work with um, UVs and distort them in the same way that we have been distorting uh, our position pass and applying different materials. So uh, that's just a little quick tip there. Cool.